Burn, baby, burn. <coughs> I'll have no biting from you today. Here we go. When I got stung last time I was here, my foot throbbed for four days. I mean, really throbbed and then itched so violently I wanted to saw it off, my whole foot. There we go. Look at all that bee juice. Holy mother of God, that's a lot of honey. Excellent. Oh, so exciting. Uh, I've just thought. <laughs> I'm going to be driving back, aren't all the loose bees are going to go in the car. Yeah, not much I can do about that. Oh, shit. Oh, Christ. I've got one in my suit. How the fucking hell's that happened? Ah! It stung me right in the ass cheeks. Ah! This, really, this is bad. Ah! Having taken a brave pill, I stacked up the remaining trays and set off with my unwanted passengers. Oh, I can hear them. Listen. How can it be legal to drive with the beehive in the back of your car? Ah, <sighs> oh, I can feel that buttock growing, a third buttock. Worst journey of my life. Talk among yourselves. I am just applying waspies to my own ass crack because the crew won't do it. I just don't believe this. Where's the bees there? With my third buttock now numbed, I started to sort out my bee juice. Look at this. Look at that. A slab of beeswax, which could be used as furniture polish, floor polish. Percussionists use it to make tambourines make a better sound. It's used in accordions. Madame Tussauds, they made all their waxwork models out of beeswax. The wax, in the olden days, used to sell for 14 times more money than the honey did. My next task was to extract the honey using something called a spinner. Look at this. The important thing here is to be gentle so you get the honey without damaging the honey cones. This is all honey down here. All honey. Um, oh, God, look what's happened here. But despite the damage... Look, 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 look. My first jar of bee juice. 